change the scenery, huh? Let's go ahead and ponder on this for a little bit. And everyone, so I know it's a little bit uh, of a different view, right? <laughs> Than the normal traffic light and my, my bike jacket in the background. But listen, I'm gonna actually make a video today uh, and actually bring back a series called Ponder on This, where I just talk about things that are kind of interesting uh, on a brander scale than just what's really going on right now, right now. Um, and what I mean by that is, I usually talk about very philosophical ideas on, on this segment, you know what I'm saying? Many of you might not like them, that's okay. Some of you that are watching this might actually love for me to make more of these type of videos, and, and that's perfect as well. So let me get right into it. Listen, I wanted to talk uh, to you guys about this amazing astrophysicist. His name is Neil deGrasse Tyson. If you guys have never seen his videos or seen any of his work, make sure you uh, YouTube him right now. Make sure you type in Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'll actually post a few of his videos down below and I'll show you a little clip about him uh, in a little bit. But um, it, essentially what he is and what he does and what he teaches is um, kind of like just philosophies and ideas and, and science so that the average individual can understand because science can be very complex at times especially if you're talking about the stars and planets and the universe and and what we're made up even down at the subatomic particle level of quantum physics and things like that right it can be very complex like what the heck is a neutrino and and quarks and all this and all that you know what exactly is out, out there what are we really made up of right it, it can be very complex but uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he, he just explains things in a way that makes you want to learn about science a lot more. And, and let me just show you a quick clip. This clip is going to be about uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson and how he's, what he talks about when it comes about the universe and what we're made up of, right? And he's uh, doing an interview. The interview was powerful about an hour and change long with uh, Stephen Colbert, comedian Stephen Colbert. Uh, he did a great job in interviewing Neil deGrasse Tyson. So go ahead and check out this clip right now. It's powerful. I know that the atoms and molecules in your body <laughs> are traceable to the crucibles in the centers of stars that manufactured these elements over its lifespan, went unstable on death, exploding its enriched guts across the galaxy scattering it into gas clouds that would ultimately collapse and make a star and have the right ingredients to make planets and people. Which means we are part of this universe. As I've said many times, and this is, goes back, the, not only are we in the universe, the universe is in us. All right, everyone, so that was a pretty uh, great clip, right? And listen, Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's an amazing individual astrophysicist like I said I mean I could throw in all kinds of different slashes right now but it probably freaking take me like 20 minutes to say all the other things that he really does um, you know he stars in, in noble science now and, and um, all kinds of different shows right but listen um, really what I want you guys to do is check out some more of his clips some more mind empowering uh, clips of of that Neil deGrasse Tyson just giving valuable information to people to get people to, th to think outside of the norm instead of just sitting down on TV watching garbage right uh, like Kim Kardashian show or something like that right uh, or some other news type of things that are just really not good for our brain not good for our souls not good for our body as he was telling us later on uh, towards the end of that clip what did, what, what did he really say he said not only are we in the universe right but the universe is in us. And see, when I watch video clips of Neil deGrasse Tyson, that guy just makes me think very deeply about just life in general and what we're really here to do and our purpose in life, right? Because when he said that statement, I don't know about you guys, but for me, it makes me, like in NLP, there's a frame called reframing. <laughs> uh, there's a name called reframing. And um, it makes me just reframe my life in a whole different way. It makes me see things in a different perspective. Like, instead of just worrying about those small things, instead of just watching the news, start just, instead of just watching bogus uh, TV shows, right, you start really thinking that, listen, we are a part of a much bigger purpose in life. I truly believe that, that we're here for a much bigger purpose. So when I apply that to my own life, I start thinking, okay, how can I actually start helping people, start helping others 
to really use their minds and and just contribute something to society so that once I'm in my deathbed, right, I'm thinking back and I'm saying, you know what, I did everything that I possibly could to contribute back to society, contribute back to the universe, right? Um, so I don't know about you guys. Do you guys feel the same way? I mean, if yes, go ahead and post a comment down below and watch some more of his videos. I'll po post uh, a few links of his videos down below and then go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so up here and then go ahead and also like this video and then um, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.